Well, hi there, I'm Dr. Dan Newsom, and today we're talking about gut health and how it relates to your overall health. If you like what you're learning and want to learn more, subscribe to our channel so you can watch more videos just like this. Let's jump right into this. Your microbiome is a collection of various microbes that are all co-located, like geographically co-located, in certain areas of the body. Okay, and this includes your skin, your respiratory system, your urinary tract, your ear, nose, throat, your reproductive system, and your digestive system. And it's the digestive system, that, that gut microbiome, that's the control center for all of the other microbiomes. In the human body, we have between three and five pounds of microbes living in our gut. Um, there's literally thousands of different types of microbes, and these include fungi, bacteria, protozoa, even viruses, but it's predominantly bacteria. These bacteria help to digest our food, regulate our immune system, defend us against other microbes and whatnot, but they also produce B vitamins. Those with microbiome imbalances uh, tend not to produce these B vitamins very well, and they also don't metabolize them very well. And this leads to nutritional deficiencies of B vitamins. So the numbers of the microbiome are massive, all right? We have 60 different strains of bacteria that live in our stomach. We have 5,000 different strains of bacteria that live in our intestines. We have 600 different strains that live in our upper respiratory system, over 1,000 different strains that live on our skin, right? We have, we have over 100 trillion microbes living in our gut. Uh, genetically, okay, the human genome con content of our body versus the microbial genome content of our body. We have 150 times more microbial genome than we do human genome. The actual numbers are we have 22,000 genes in the human genome and we have 3.3 million genes in the microbiome genome. On average, uh, the microbiome of, a, of a, the average human being could cover two tennis courts. If you strung out all the microbes in your gut end to end, okay, they would cover the circumference of the earth two and a half times. 90% <laughs> of all disease can be traced back to the microbiome. Our third and final step for healing the microbiome is fortification. Okay, we, in, in fortification of the microbiome, we have to replenish the, the microbes of the microbiome. So we gotta get probiotics into the microbiome. Uh, remember that in this stage, whatever you eat and whatever you supplement will either feed the good guys or it's gonna feed the bad guys. So as far as food goes, we need to focus on foods that have insoluble fibers so that are prebiotics for the microbiome to eat, okay? And these are apples, bananas, dandelion greens, vir virtually all greens, um, artichokes, okay? These are just, just a few, okay? We also need to include fermented foods, okay? Fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut, and kefir. These all give us more a more variety of probiotic microorganisms in our microbiome. So in addition to this, the things that I use with my patients are fulvic acid, humic acid. Uh, I use lots of probiotics, okay? What fulvic and humic acids do is fulvic acts like a growth medium for the, the probiotics. So they go, they just, it fortifies the probiotics themselves. Humic acid acts as a prebiotic matrix for which, through which the microbes can take up residence and, and, and start adhering to the gut wall and becoming part of our microbiome. Finally, the probiotics. <laughs> probiotics, we have, uh, we have layers of probiotics in our, our microbiome, in our, in our gut, okay? And we have to replenish all of those. We have soil-based microorganisms. We have lact uh, lactobacillus that create lactic acid that are super important. We have our bifidus microbes, and, and you know, those are just the main families in our microbiome. We have to replenish them. We have to fill our gut with these things in order for the microbiome to replenish and heal and regrow properly. Imbalances in the microbiome called dysbiosis are directly linked 
to inflammation and leaky gut. Okay, inflammatory diseases are always correlated with imbalances in our microbiome. Uh, this directly affects our rate of aging, this affects our digestion, and this also affects our immune system. So an imbalance in the microbiome can greatly impact all kinds of things, including our mood and our cognition. The digestive tract has literally has twice as many neurons as our brain. Okay, there's 100 billion neurons in your brain and there's 200 billion neurons in your gut. And this is where your, your gut feeling comes from. So on average, 80% of the dopamine and serotonin, these neurotransmitters that are needed, that are used by our central nervous system, our whole nervous system in order to operate, are made in our gut. So if our gut isn't healthy, it doesn't make enough of these neurotransmitters. And this directly affects us, okay, in ways such as mood swings, depression, anxiety, uh, brain fog, <laughs> uh, memory loss, lack of concentration, food sensitivities, um, also just excessive stress. Okay, so with this video, I hope you really, really understand the, the importance of the healthier microbiome and how it's, it, it is central to our immune system and overall health. I tell my patients that if you heal your microbiome, your microbiome will heal you. For more information on how to support a healthy microbiome, visit my website. And until then, I'll talk to you soon.